In this video, we'll be looking at the fastest way to replace a product in an existing shot. So if we have something like this and we want to place our own bottle inside it, then we can literally do this with a single click. And the best part is that we will be able to do this 25 times completely for free, which is way better than using some of the other paid alternatives like Ideograms Magic Fill or Open Arts in painting tool along with the reference image or the latest Hicksfield canvas feature, all of which I have shown in the past in my videos, but this is the cheapest and the fastest way, which is by using the Gen 4 references feature by Runway AI. So I've given the link to this particular login page. Once you do create your account, you will get 125 credits and it's five credits per edit. So you can do this 25 times completely for free. Once you do create your account, you will see this page. And you can see our 125 credits being reflected here. The first thing that you'll do is you will hit this option that says start with tool view instead. And this is where all the magic will happen. It's a very simple tool to use. We will add both the images, the original image, as well as the image of our own bottle by hitting this add image references button. Now, one very important thing when you're working with Runway AI, when it comes to your own products image, you really have to give it a very close up view. So if you have an image like this, this is not good enough. You need to get closer. So always crop the image till the time the design, the logo, the text on your product can be seen very, very clearly like you can see right in this version. So I'm going to upload this cropped version as well as the original image right here. And then let's carry out the next step. All right, so both our images are here and now we just have to type in a simple prompt. In this tool, there's no brushing of the mask, nothing like that. It's a very simple tool to work with. So we simply type in here, replace the bottle in and then you can use the at sign to tag the first image. So I can say image one with the bottle and just do the same thing again in image two. And that's all you need to do since this had a horizontal aspect ratio, I'm gonna select 16 is to nine. One variation is more than fine and standard definition. We're gonna hit generate and let's just wait for the results. All right, so we've got our result here and you can see that this looks absolutely fantastic. If we compare this to the original bottle, this is very, very con consistent. The design, the text, everything is spot on and nothing has changed on our subject. But I should point out this was my fourth attempt. The, in the first three attempts, which I'm actually not able to recover somehow, so I can't show you, some of the letters here uh, were missing. That was the only issue, but otherwise everything remains spot on. So what I would suggest is, for your first attempt, or if it's a slightly complex product, you can just set the number of variations to four images and see which one turns out to be correct. But again, this is really nice. Another thing that I should point out about Runway AI is that just like the point I mentioned about the bottle being close to the camera, that applies to your original shot also. So if you look at this shot itself, the composition, this is like a cropped close-up headshot. And these type of shots just work better with runway as opposed to shots in which things are far away from the camera. So if, if, if this was like a full body shot, therefore the product was smaller, runway really struggles with that. So if you have a shot like that, what I would suggest is you crop it down to something like this. And then let me show you a tool which can help you just out paint the shot back in the areas where the consistency does not matter that much any, anyway. So one of the free tools that you can use for outpainting is by Pixel Cut, which is called Uncrop and AI Expand Image. For example, this result that we've just got, let me upload it right here. So if I have something like this, then what I can do is I can just select the actual aspect ratio that I want. So let's say I wanted this to actually be a square. So I can select one is to one from here and just hit generate. And just for free, it's going to start out painting those areas and within 10 or 15 seconds you'll get a really nice looking image so let's just wait for this and you can see that this is also done also if you want to learn about the gen 4 references feature inside runway in more detail a few days back i had created a video which showed you how to create consistent characters using that same tool in case you haven't seen that you can check out this video and for more tips and tricks on AI image and video editing. Make sure you subscribe and in case this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like and I will see you next time.